Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Path. Last time we left off, we finished episode one, and it turns out that Horace Knightley was the one who uh, killed Rook, because I guess he was just kind of really jealous of him being the leader. And yeah, it's very petive, uh, excuse for murder, but then again, pretty much any murderer is. So, um, and now we're going to begin episode two, which is going to be the in prison turn by I believe so let's go ahead and get this one started opens in a dark street a bell two bell wings wongs forget that I was actually playing the impossible quiz a couple okay, two days ago and uh, they said what what, what sounds a bell make it's like fatang I don't know what the hell it came to me right now uh, uh oh, blood, and <gasps> holy crap! Speaking of horror, Snightly, that I, I, I guess he's dead. Ah, well, this is confusing. Jeez, how long is it? What the hell is that? Oh. A dog. Oh my god, the dog did it! That'll be too easy. You really can't charge a dog. Can't really charge a dog. So, um... Yeah, I mean, you know in many of these Ace Attorney games how, like, each case kind of, like, goes into the other one? Well, especially for the Ace Attorney's Investigations 1, and so far it seems like it's gonna be like this for this game as well, so... This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I guess they're kind of w waiting for Horace to get out. He's not coming. He's not coming, sir. How long does he intend to keep us waiting? Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. There's no need to get your cravat and twist. Ethan Rook's murder. Two days after the incident, we visited the detention center. Naturally, we were hoping to meet with the defendant, Horace Knightley. His trial was set to begin the next day, with me serving as a prosecutor. Still, he's rather late. You there! Do you know what's going on? Uh, it's certainly strange. I'll try calling him one more time. It's terrible! It's it's nightly! He's been murdered! What? What did you say? Murdered? Inside the detention center? Mr. Edgeworth, let's go check it out! You there, take us to the crime scene, post haste! Well, yes, sir! Uh, I don't think we ever actually seen the inside of the, uh, the detention center before. Ah, Natalie's not in his cell? I thought he was being held there. Where are you doing, sir? This way! Where are you taking us, pal? I, I threw this door as the... Ah, it's the prison. Prison? Then what were the small rooms back there? Those cells where we just passed are part of the detention center. They're used for holding suspects temporarily while they await their trial. What lies ahead is a facility that serves a completely different purpose. This is where criminals who have been declared guilty serve out their sentences, pal. It's the one place a great thief does not want to end up, Kay. I'm opening the door now! Please, follow me! Huh, it's actually nice to see, like, these these new environments. You know, well, we've mentioned them before, but now actually seeing them... Oh, uh, yeah, he's dead, all right. See, so, yeah, I guess it wasn't a street. It looked like he was in the street. Uh, whatever. There's no mistaking it. Knightley's dead. Moreover, he was murdered inside the prison walls. How exactly did this happen? Uh, well, there's a lot of TV dramas that uh, prison shankings and prison murders happen out, you know? The last one I saw was pretty much Breaking Bad, which... I never watched the show when it was when it was on air, but I pretty much watched the entire series on Netflix, and I was like, "Oh wow, I missed out." Very good show. I can't believe something like this would happen to Mr. Knightley. Yes, I can't believe it either. But the scene you see before you is the unmistakable reality. Besides, wasn't Mr. Knightley supposed to be in the detention center? Indeed, he was. Knightley hasn't uh, hadn't had his trial yet. Before a suspect is found guilty, they're detained in the detention center's holding cells. 
They only entered a prison after they received a guilty verdict. Nightly should not have been moved in, in here. Uh, do you think he passed through those giant doors that we uh, went through earlier, sir? Huge metal doors and a long passageway separating the prison and the detention center. As a suspect, Knightley wouldn't have been able to pass through. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Scary procedures and whatnot. What happened to Knightley? In order to solve this mystery, we must first investigate the crime scene. Okay, seems like we're gonna be, uh... Investigating stuff, so there's a... Good amount of things here, I guess. Is this the door? It's a reservation form that lists some inmates who are scheduled to use this room. There are numbers. Uh, there are numbers written here. Probably their prison numbers. I hate to be called a number like T forty one thirty seven. I don't know if that's supposed to be reference anything or not. Yes, this is that is why we are born with a name. I'd rather be called Great Thief or the Terminator. What about your name? Well, I mean, what about your name? Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. Is there anything out of place? Well, yes, sir, if I had to say... What is it? Uh, there's a dead body over there! Yep, that's definitely out of place. If you not, if you notice anything else out of place, please be sure to tell me. Uh, what can you do? This section of the room is covered in dirt. The dirt is soft and has footprints on it, sir. There are too many footprints. It won't be easy identifying them all. Well, until the forensics uh, teams arrive, we probably won't, shouldn't tamper with this area. Detective, please don't trip and fall in the dirt. I'll be careful, sir. I, I don't want to get in my I don't want to get my favorite coat dirty. I'm more worried about you'll mess up the footprints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is this? Huh. We won't rest until we've stolen every still suspicious looking nook and cranny. Indeed, this is quite a large area to investigate. Press the Y button to switch screens and okay. She said oh, until we stole in every uh, nook and cranny, whatever. Uh, okay, let's examine this. It's like a pulley or something. It's a pulley. Is that used for prison labor too? It looks like it. There's something I want to ask you. Don't even think about dangling on the hook. Uh, how'd you know that's what I wanted to do? Somehow I had a feeling. Oh, come on. Everybody wants to dangle on the hook. Hmm, it's a, oh wait, okay, it's the same thing. Uh... Cage. It's a cage inside a cage that's in the prison. It's like a cageception! I believe the correct term is prison cell. They're the same thing! You need to look more at the essence of things. Actually, it's more important to get the correct information. So, is there really nothing here? Whatever, let's investigate this. <gasps> is it who I think it is? Those are some colorful, sh colorful, sh colorful sheets. I wasn't investigating the sheets. I wasn't. I want to see the whip there. They're the most eye-catching thing in this room. They don't fit in with the prison. There's a whip placed on top of the sheets. It reminds me of the whip lady. Maybe she left her whip here. Hmm. I doubt she ever leave her whip behind. Oh, okay. Well, that was a little nod to Francisca. I don't know if she's ever gonna. I don't know if she's gonna be in this game or not. But you know, hey. There's a rope near the body as well. By the way, my special talent? If it's about rope escapes, there's no need for that now. Oh, Does she want to show it off that badly? Apparently. And this is probably the same thing with the pulley. Yep. Okay. Hmm. So I guess that's all there is to examine here. I usually leave the body for last. I don't know why I'm like that. There's a wash basin over here. Are there any clues that could be useful to this case? I don't smell any signs of treasure. I was searching for clues here, not treasure. So, nothing? Okay, apparently nothing. There are a bunch of strange tools here. I don't see anything out of place. I'm kind of picking up the scent of, an, of animals. Do you have any uh, special smelling abilities or something? No, it's just a feeling. But I can smell the scent of treasure. Remind me to lock up all my valuables in a safe. Come on, Mr. Edger, if I want to steal your valuables. So you would steal something else, someone else's valuables. Of course. She is a great thief. Bunch of tools here. But there's something else on there I kind of want to take a look at. Can I not? I 
feel like... Hmm. I guess I can't examine it. What is stuff on the wall? No. Okay, I, I guess we're just gonna investigate a body. Horace Knightley. Murdered right before his trial. Let me take a closer look. Alright. A couple things here. Uh, oh, look. An another orange sheet. He's covered with a dirty sheet. There's a rope on the top of the sheet. Was Knightley tied up with this rope? Possibly. We have rope right next to his body as well, so... Let's take a look under the sheet. We might be able to find something. Yikes! Th this sheet is bright red! This, there's appear, uh, these appear to be bloodstains. Mm, yeah, I really can't think of anything else it could be. Kool-Aid, maybe! Or wine, who knows. We still might be able to f uh, find something. Let's search this area a little bit more care closely. Okay, uh... Well, can I examine the actual rope, or is it just going to say the same thing about the sheet? Yikes! This sheet's bright red! It really is bright red, sir! These appear to be bloodstains. A rope and a bloody sheet. There might be something else! Yes, let me check this area again in case I overlook something. Okay, uh... How about if I examine that? Okay. Uh... Well, there is this. Is that like a, a portable uh, checker? A uh, chess thing. Oh yeah, it does look like chess, yeah. Huh? What's this? Oh wait, guys, I gotta sneeze. Damn it, as soon as I, as soon as I turned away, like, it, like, that feeling was like, whoop! It, like, just went back in me. Oh, jeez. Mr. Edger has something similar in his office. It's a portable chess board. It was probably the victim's. Ah! Uh, Mr. Knightley enjoyed chess, right? He was probably using it to pass the time in the detention center. Oh well, yeah, you need something to do, I guess. So, a chess board. You know, I say I don't, I mean, I'm terrible at chess. It doesn't mean I hate it. I, I, I am terrible at it, but it's like, you know, hey. I think I have a glass, um, uh, chess board in pieces somewhere. I don't know what the hell it is. But it's pretty nice, I like it. Ugh, the blood from his neck has stained his brace bright red. The cause of death was most likely from his neck wound. He probably died instantly. He couldn't even cry out in pain. Hmm? There's small bumps on his head. Are those bruises? Maybe after he was stabbed in the neck, he fell back and hit his head? I wonder. At this point in time, there are too many unknowns. Kay, do you, do you have your digital camera with you? I'd like the detective to take a photo of the body. Would you let him borrow it? Sure thing! Here, Gummy! Thanks, pal! Alright, I'm taking a picture, sir. Still, he's wearing some awfully dirty clothes. Hmm. He's, there appears to be dirt stains in several places. Ah. Uh -huh. Dirt? Hey, maybe he was in an area that has dirt in it. He's wearing the, those clothes even though they're dirty. He's just like me, sir! Detective, I hope you realize that not everyone shares your lack of hygiene. Yes, take a shower, Gumshoe, and change your clothes. Um, what is this? This is a rubber glove. It is? Oh, yeah, I see it. Yes, there's no mistake, it's a rubber glove. How come there's only one? Let me take a closer look. Hey, what, what is this? It's covered in mud, up to the wrist. It looks more black than brownish, whatever. Maybe someone was playing with mud in the prison? I want to get in the action, too! Do it on your own time, when we're not investigating a case. Okay, well... There's really nothing here, let me turn it around, maybe... Oh! Blood! The fingers of the glove are covered in blood. This glove was dropped after, uh, after the pool of blood formed. Oh, uh, why is that? If it was on the floor before the pool of blood had formed... The blood would have uh, formed an outline around the glove. Oh, I see. The blood would have only gotten on the edges of the glove. Hmm. Would it not? Would not some seep under? I guess not. This glove was discarded after it was covered in blood. That must mean the killer left it behind. Indeed, it's highly probable. At the very least, the person who dropped this saw the body. You there? What is it, sir? Do you recognize this glove? Well, yes, sir! The inmates use these for prison labor! That's odd! 
Rubber gloves are usually kept in the inmates' rooms. Uh, they are strictly regulated, so you can't just take them out. Indeed, there are no signs of any other rubber gloves in this room. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's more to investigate? I guess we can investigate the neck wound. No. Nope. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, sorry about that. It always seems like it calls only when I record. Hmm. There appears to be dirt stains in several places. Oh, there we go. I was wondering how I can't uh, move. Is he holding something? It looks like he's holding something in his hand there. Hmm? There's something on his finger. Let's have a closer look. Oh, looks like an expensive ring. Don't steal it. What? what? I didn't do anything yet. Yet. So, there is a ring. Can I take a look at that closer? I mean... Oh, okay. Hmm. I, I, I honestly don't see anything else I could take a look at, so... Hmm. Maybe I just investigate just his head, maybe? Oh, okay. I think I may have to do some logic now. If I can actually... There you go. Do we even have... Oh yeah, that makes sense. Because, yeah, we have the stack of sheets are orange, and we have a bloody sheet that's orange, and so, yeah, boom, they go together. The sheets stacked here have a very distinctive pattern. It's the same as the bloodstained sheet. That's right. Okay, don't steal my lines like that. <laughs> Mr. Edge, you shouldn't get caught off guard like that. I'll never lose my edge as a great thief. I thought she was on, uh, I thought she was on hiatus. Okay, so then we got that. Well, we've collected quite a bit of evidence here. Haha, <laughs> with the three of us here, it's a piece of cake. Right, Gummy? That's right, pal. We're the Invincible Trio. It's too early to start celebrating. There's still something we haven't found yet. Huh? What haven't we found yet, sir? Uh, how about, you know, the person who killed the dude? What is missing from the crime? Well... I don't know, actually. We have bloodstains, I guess we have footprints. Possibly the murder weapon? The murder weapon that took the victim's life has not been found yet. Ah, now that you mention it, you're absolutely right, sir. Detective, get your act together. Isn't that the most basic of the basics? Ah, I'm sorry, sir. Don't worry about it, Gummy. I didn't notice it either. That's not much of a, con a consolation there. In this prison, dangerous objects that could be used as weapons are strictly regulated. It'd be quite dangerous if the enemies got their hands on them. Obtaining a murder weapon carrying it around is not an easy task. I see, you have a point. What was the murder weapon then? And where did it go? That could be the key to solving this case. Huh? There are visitors here already? Who the hell are you? Sorry to barge in like this. Is this the crime scene? You're... Now see, he appears on the cover of Ace Attorney Investigations 2, so it's like, he's obviously a kind of a somewhat of a main character. Huh? You? Aren't you? That piercing gaze, that furrowed brow... It's been a long time, Mr. Shields. Yes, yes, that frilly thing around your neck and that stiff greeting. There's no doubt about it! Prosecutor Manfred Von Karma. Fancy meeting you here! <laughs> oh, wow. No, no, no. What are you saying, pal? Mr. Edgeworth's not that old man. <laughs> Detective, it's fine. Oh, it's you, Prosecutor Edgeworth! I thought you looked a bit young! You know what? I'm just gonna say this right now. Apparently, this Ray Shields guy... Honestly, reminds me of Dan from uh, Danny from Game Grumps. I can see. I don't know. I I see it. Cause I I, I know he always says he cosplays as Spike from uh, Cowboy Bebop. But it's like this. This would work. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> you two are so similar. Looks like you got your Uncle Ray 
Looks like you got your Uncle Ray got your two mixed up. What the hell? That was a weird sense. You never change. How many years has it been since we last seen each other? Hmm. I've already forgotten. Your Uncle Ray has been overseas these past few years. But you know, there's something I still haven't uh, forgotten about you and your betrayal. Betrayal? I'm getting some bad vibes over here. Do you know this guy, Mr. Edgeworth? Allow me to introduce him to you. Raymond Shields, attorney at law. Oh, he's a lawyer. Huh. Ace Attorney Ray Shields at your service. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Acquaintance. I'm Detective Gim Dick Gumshoe, sir. K. Faraday, nice to meet you. I'm a great thief. Ah, oh, but I'm currently on hiatus. Great thief. Oh well, that sounds romantic. How wonderful. Oh, Mr. Shields, you get it, you get it right. I'm currently recruiting new members. The registration forms are easy to fill out. That's splendid. Uncle Ray would love to join your little gang. I'm sorry, but we're only accepting bright, cheerful, and energetic girls. I see. Well, that's too bad. Well, how about a hug then? It's a sign of affection. No. I guess not. <laughs> this isn't Europe, after all. Mr. Shields, what are you doing here? Oops, uh, that's right. Sorry, sorry. Preventing the attorney from investigating the crime scene is the Von Karma way, isn't it? Oh... Hey, you're being you're being going on about Von Karma this and Von Karma that. What's your problem, pal? Hold it. Maybe he doesn't like Von Karma. Detective, restrain yourself. This can't be helped. Eh? Huh? Mr. Shields, are you the defense attorney for Horace Knightley? That's right. Or should I say, I was his defense attorney. Mr. Shields is the defense attorney. If Knightley had not been murdered, I would have been going against him in court. I should listen to what he has to say. And we'll listen to what he has to say in the next episode, guys. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play... So, uh, what the hell is I'm mixing a bunch of games here. Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I'll see you guys later.